In this video, we're going to talk about sketch blocks in an assembly layout sketch. Whenever you start a new assembly in SOLIDWORKS, you're prompted to either insert components, you have an option to insert open document components, or you can create a sketch layout. So this layout helps when you're doing a top-down design, but it also helps when you're creating mechanical assemblies and you want to do things like create the geometry that we have been creating in a part file, but you want to do a motion study and simulate how they interact. So we're going to create a layout. And what we're gonna do is insert blocks. So I'm gonna browse, and I've got some blocks located in this folder. So we have the swing arm that we were using inside one of our linkage assemblies. And I'm gonna add some relations. I'm gonna make that coincident with the origin. You can see, just like in the part file, we can move this around. Next thing I'm gonna do is insert another block. I'm going to browse again to the same location, and we're going to insert the bell crank. So this bell crank was located at this point on our swing arm. So again, I'm going to make that coincident, and again, insert another block. We're going to browse to the same location, and we're going to insert the dog bone. Now the dog bone was located at this point, and then it was fixed in space. So we'll go ahead and fix that there. So we've just replicated the same sketch block that we had inside of our part file. We just need to simply add the shock. So we can draw these entities instead of inserting them, just like we did in the part file. Again, make a block, create it, and add those relations, locate it there, and bring this guy up fix them in space, make these guys coincident, and then make them collinear. So now we've replicated completely the swing arm and shock assembly that we had in our part file. The great advantage when you're dealing with sketch blocks in a layout sketch is that they can be used in a motion study. And more importantly, you can actually give each of these sketch blocks mass. So for instance, if you knew that this swing arm was gonna be roughly 20 pounds and you knew where its center of gravity was, you can create that in the motion study and give these mass so when you're applying forces and things like that, you actually have a real world understanding of what's going on. As it is now, if we use these with no mass, obviously things change. If you apply a force, say a five pound force to a 20 pound swing arm, or you applied a five pound force to a one pound swing arm, the results are gonna be very different. So while we can look at this motion in a part file, we can't really evaluate what's going on when we apply forces to them. So the layout sketch is reserved for creating this motion, bringing these sketch blocks in, creating this motion, creating motion studies, and taking a very in-depth look at how the assembly is gonna react when you apply forces, when you apply loads and springs, and that gives you a whole host of options to look at trace points on it. You can look at resultant forces and so on. So this is a very handy thing to use when you wanna look at the motion of your assemblies before you ever create these parts. If you create the assembly and everything looks good from here and you wanna do a top-down design, all this information is right here on your layout sketch. You can just move forward with the design. We're gonna cover the motion study later on in this video series. While we're dealing with sketches and creating sketch blocks, I just wanted to make note that there is a layout sketch inside of an assembly, and that's where you need to create this geometry. Now you saw that I brought this in by using the insert block option. We could have easily just drawn everything here as well, but if you already have this information from a part file, then you can bring that information in as well. One great thing about using this information in a motion study is, you're not moving full parts, you're not rendering shading, and you're not rendering light and shadow effects, you're not dealing with materials and so on. So everything is extremely quick. When you apply these forces, you get results almost instantly depending on your system. That concludes the video on creating sketch blocks in a layout sketch.